guys we're home today we've been doing a lot of back and forth some videos you've seen some you haven't even uh, we're here now we just have to get some projects done a new garden needs to be done so that we could start putting our um, you know some of our stuff in by May and I need to do some raised beds for some potatoes and onions so we want to get that started as well because they could go in right now still have to get logs split and prepare for Easter, which is what we're doing now. I'm going to make Easter bread. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Easter bread. It's Italian thing, Italian Easter bread. Um, so I grew up in South Philly. I don't know if it's a South Philly thing, if it's an Italian thing or a South Philly Italian thing. I'm not sure, but if you guys know, please let me know. We had Easter bread every Easter. Every family member had Easter bread at their home, every corner bakery had this bread that they sold. So whether or not you know about it, we're gonna make it today. Maybe you can make it and try it. It's a bit of a denser, uh, like a crumbly bread. Think of like a biscuit cookie in a bread form, and that's kind of how it is. So there's a lot of ways to make this bread. This is a non-yeast way. This is how my mom makes it. So this is how I make it. And this is the right way because this is how mama does it. So I'm going to let me show you. All right, we have three eggs. I already scrambled them up a bit. Three quarter cup of sugar. And what I'm going to do is mix this together first. And then we're going to add half a cup of oil. I'm just using vegetable oil. I usually use olive, but I am going to use vegetable. I'm going to throw half a teaspoon of vanilla. Uh oh, that was a lot. That was more than a half teaspoon. But vanilla is good. Everyone loves vanilla. It's more like a biscuit bread. All right, so I have three cups of flour and three teaspoons of baking powder in here. Now, I myself don't like um, Easter bread. Don't tell anyone. But my parents do, and they're coming over Easter, so that's why I'm making it. And <laughs> those of you that know my father, um, nobody wants to hear him. Where's the Easter bread? There's no Easter bread. It's not Easter without Easter bread. So we make it just because no one wants to hear him, you know. I'm sure everybody has a father like that. So we'll make the Easter bread for him. And this usually does make a lot. I am halving the recipe, uh, but I should get a couple of rolls out of it. Uh, I'm gonna mix this up. You're gonna stick the dough in the refrigerator for a little bit because that will harden it some and make it easier to roll because you are gonna have to roll it out and it's a little bit harder to do, um, you know, if it's, if it's like this wet. It's a little easier to do if it's colder, so. We'll come back as soon as we're done with all our mixing, or I'm sorry, as soon as we're done with all our refrigerating. Uh, I did take my mixer out in case I needed it, but I don't think I'm going to because it's kind of, see, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of crumbly and all now, so I don't think I'm gonna use the mixer because it's just gonna get stuck in there, kind of like it did with this thing. Let's put all these back in there. My sister had made this last year, so I didn't even make it. My mom has passed the torch to us, so it is now our job. All right, we'll stick this in the refrigerator. You can see it's more like a, let me just show you after I get this flour in there. So it is a very wet kind of a, you know, dough. So you could see how that would be hard to roll. Come back at roll time. Okay guys, I got these rolled out. It's very crumbly, so it might break apart, just kind of piece it back together. So I had to look this up. I didn't even know the significance of the way the bread was, say, rolled. So you twist it, and you put it together like this, and this is supposed to represent the crown of thorns, okay? Then you do the same thing here, 
And as you can see, it's just like totally breaking apart. You do the same thing and make your crown, except this one you put an egg in the middle. This is the one my grandma used to do. Grams always had the one with the egg in the middle. Raw egg, dyed. Uh, my chickens poop out the eggs this color, so I don't have to dye it. Uh, it'll cook in there because it's gonna be in there for a good 20 minutes. And then this, you do three, because this is, you could have guessed it, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. And then um, you keep this one long, you don't roll it. But I didn't know that that was the significance of it and um, that's why it's obviously Easter bread. And then I'm gonna show you the way my mom always made it and now I know why she did it this way. It's because it's so hard to twist them because it breaks apart, like you could see how crumbly it is. Uh, so my mom's, she would just like kind of roll it like this. Me tiny one because that's what I got left. But that's how she always did it. And now we'll bake. Okay, 20 minutes, we are done. Let me show you. I did wind up making two batches. So you're gonna put three tablespoons of powdered sugar and then just milk until it makes like a little bit of a thicker consistency. This is gonna be your topping and you're gonna put that over it. Um, makes it like a little glaze. You're gonna do it while it's hot. And then, oh, I might have to make more for this batch. So you're gonna glaze it up and put the rainbow non pareil jimmies over it. I'm not quite sure what the significance is of the jimmies. Let's just call it a celebration of my man JC. And there you have it. We got ourselves a mess with jimmies, but Easter bread. So let me know if you make it. Let me know if you like it. Or if you're like me and you're just like, eh. But my grandpa used to just like dunk it in coffee if you like that kind of thing. I don't like want crumbs in my coffee. But if you do, this is a good bread for that. Okay, see you on the next adventure.